server 2022 welcome back everybody i'm prakash Pudan, your trainer for this entire series so after having the brief introduction of windows server 2022 this preview now we are going to start our learn journey and the first thing we are going to start with the entire installation process of windows server 2022 iso image so for that i'm going to take uh, my hyper v actually this manager so i'm going to create a new machine completely new machine so that it will be easy for you to see from the scratch from the base the entire process of installing the operating system so let's start now so i'm going to use my default switch and so far i believe that 60 gb for our lab environment testing scenario over here in order to install the server 2022 it seems it's more than enough so let's give something new virtual this hard disk name over here now i'm going to browse an image that i have pasted somewhere in the desktop so let's go to desktop so far i remember my image is somewhere okay it's over here now take the image so i'm going to install so after installing in this series we are going to at least complete uh, the first phase of installing a domain controller and then we are going to start something new that's been introduced in windows server 2022 apart from the basic things that we have to do as a system administrator for the every server operating system As you can see, it's the same process that we have used in our previous version of Windows Server Operating System. And don't forget this Server 2022 is actually, this is also based on Server 2019. So that's why I don't think any of you are going to have an issue with the installing process of Server 2022. And of course, we're going to use the language. Of course, it's a United States. Okay, time and this currency, I'm going to use this one same. Otherwise, if you'd like to change it, you can just change it from over here. Only. So in a keyboard, obviously, it's a device we are going to you and see uh, I do believe that, that you all know that we are not going to repair it so it's a new installation so I'm going to click install now And I'm not going to use any of the key right now for standard or this data center since it's a preview I do believe that if we go for I don't have this product here at this moment as well so it's not gonna make any difference for us since we are in a lab environment so I'm going to click this I don't have product key at this moment and then as you can see over here these are the edition that means the data center and standard and it's for the core and the GUI so we are going to use standard edition or let's take it the data center only there is no issue on that and we are going to use the desktop experience. We have to accept the license terms and conditions and of course I do believe that everybody know we are not going to upgrade it's a new installation fresh installation of Windows Server 2022 so that's why I'm going to use the second option that means the custom one. So as we know that we have selected the 60 GB of hard disk so we are going to take it the same the en entire this this partition this logical volume i am going to use as a space to install the operating system and it's the system reserve that we know so now the installation process starts
Okay, as you can see that now the installation is successfully done. Now we are going to provide with the administrator password in order to continue this installation for the process. So I'm going to give the most commonly used this complex password. Okay, now let's connect this session for the first time after the installation. So I'm going to connect it for the first time to Windows Server 2022. Okay, let's log in now. So I guess this is the first screen that you all are going through for the Windows Server 2022. Now it's going to load a server manager that we call, I do believe you all still remember, we call it initial configuration test. It's going to pass through that. Then after that, finally, it's going to give you the final screen of your desktop version. Now it's preparing windows. There will be many, many, many changes in Windows Server 2022 as per the expectation of, you know, your Windows Server 2019. So there will be many and most probably even the DNS will work in an encrypted form now. So it's now personalizing settings. Okay, now it seems that finally the installation process is successfully done and now uh, I have shown you successfully how to install uh, Windows Server 2022. Now in our next video, we are going to proce uh, just proceed with the further process of promoting this Windows Server 2022 for the domain controller for the first time and I do believe it was an easy going step. If you find it fruitful, fruitful means that. so please do like and subscribe. Thank you.